So, here we are at Oceano Dunes. Um, last time we were here was like five years ago. And, like, you see the dunes over there? Yep. Same we gotta walk all up. All the way for miles and miles. What we are here for is this is where we were we stayed one night where we were trying to flee LA and uh, the cat our cat who we loved so dearly like a like a person uh, he got out of the van and it was super high tides and we think that he didn't get swept away by the water but then he might have gotten caught, and then you know, there were so many off-roaders and everything that was around. Was it was loud, windy. There was he was not used to the not used to the ocean. Man. Never seen the ocean before. So we figure he probably jumped into somebody's RV or camper, or there was a lot of bolted towards oh, way down there. You can see the. I have a feeling he went down, got all the way down there by those um, condos on the beach down there. Where the house is behind you? Yeah, there's several. It's pretty here. It's very windy right now. It's, it's always windy. Always windy, and but it's mellow. It's nice. But so we woke up one morning, and we had finally had escaped. LA and our cat was gone and we are both hers and my stomach just fell out and we thought we, we hoped beyond hope that we could find him and so we searched Search the, the dunes. dunes for days until we were like we we're running out of money and that we had to leave and we were so devastated we just went over to a motel six for a couple of days and cried and then we went back down to oceano uh, we came back here yeah we back. came well we searched more around tried to went up to san luis obispo mm -hmm. and we thought that this one cat was him he looked exactly like him turned out it wasn't so anyway, but Doofus, uh, he was devastated, devastated with, um, that was his brother. And, and he searched the dunes. He, he went with, with me everywhere. He was already having hip dysplasia and he was walking terrible. And he yet he fucking, the he yeah, he fell the down the dunes. But so what was the working. turning point was... Her and I weren't giving up. We would we were just, we were almost going to just do it until we found him or we died. And Doofus and I were going on a different dune one day, looking around, calling his name. We get up to the top of these windswept dunes, and there was a little valley wallow at the top where the um, wind wasn't blowing. And it was blowing right over the dune. You could see the sand going over the top. But Doofus turned and looked at me with this look like, dude, if he's in one of these, there's just no if fucking he way. If Doofus's scent, he would have come Yeah, running. and I, I mean, this her. dog loved yeah. him. And he was crushed, really, from then on. And we all were. So... You know, this was like one of the, this was a turning point for us. And then we um, went back down and we got chased around, typical LA cop bullshit. And then we, uh, yeah, and then we went to a hotel. We thought he was going to die that was one weekend and we got into a hotel and he lived for uh, another seven months. And he did not, and he was fighting death so hard. I had people yelling at me, saying to put him down, and yet I don't speak I dog. Do and he, this dog was a fucking survivor beyond belief. He was a pacifist, uh, and he was, but he was a, he was a fighter for life. He was Dylan Thomas, and he 
finally, it was a horrible story about when he died. I'm not going to go into that here. No. But um, we lost a cat here, and he was with us and looked for the cat here. So and so we're going to spread his ashes here. up here, and hopefully him and the cat can be together until we come along and they're waiting for us. Yeah. We're, we're, we've been kind of silly about keeping the ash, not wanting to do this because we'll keep some. I'm going to put some of this to make it get a tattoo. But it's kind of like a, As a, final. a final thing now. We have to really face these and they were more important to us than any other everybody. person. Everybody has, everybody, family and friends, has turned their backs on us, betrayed us, hurt us. The two best people who I've ever known, they're not even they're human. You know, there was, they were loyal beyond belief. And they never gave up on us. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. At one point when we got back to L.A. and Doofy was coming, going downhill fast, but he had been through this and he had been a trooper. He'd already had bad problems before then, too. Her, we made a decision that we were going to give him a place to die with dignity and it, no matter what it cost us, so we get into this one project room key hotel just because we were driving around in a van. It was the summer. I didn't want my fucking best friend in the world to fucking die in a hot van with exhaust gases and that's bullshit. For no reason, because they're just fucking assholes. Well, I demanded, I called up Lhasa down there, LA Housing Authority or whatever, and said, if you don't get us a fucking room, I will make such a media shitstorm, you guys will fucking never be able to face the music. They fucking next day, you guys want a room? So you got to go in and lay on a comfy bed and fucking get air conditioning. We hand fed him and he shit. She would clean him up and we did everything, you know, trying to make his last days bearable. I mean, I have videos up on it, but, uh, what a trooper, and he never snarled, his go he was going through multiple issues, never bar like growled, none of that shit. When it comes to facing death, that dog was an inspiration for everybody because he didn't fucking snivel and complain. He didn't want to because he didn't want to leave us. Those animals were better to us than we were to them, and I loved them more than anything else. Uh, here we are, years later, and I'm still crushed. So, we got out during the solar eclipse today, and fucking eclipse, fuck the globalists, fuck there New World done. Order, fuck there Biden, fuck everybody. But what we have to do is we have to go spread my dog's ashes because our cat was here. The cat was cat here. Was here. He's still here. And the dog's here. And now we're here again. We've all reunited one one last time. This is very hard for us. Because we don't have other friends or anybody to distract us, to get us out of our head. There's no alternative like where we could go to our room or go home. We're There's no home. Public. This is our home. Yeah. Everything's in public. And so we got to do everything. Now we've just embraced it. Now, oh, you don't like our fucking, you don't like seeing us? Too, Too fucking bad. bad. You want to Either keep us out us here? Leave us but meanwhile, you know, there's millions of migrants coming over, getting everything. Yeah, got to love know, this country. They get thousand dollar gift certificates to Target, and we can't yep. get a hotel room for the night. Yeah. So anyway, to my subscribers, anybody watching this, 
Thanks, and uh, that's what we're doing. I'll keep you updated. This is pretty country up here. It's Beautiful. Very gorgeous. We should have been t taking pictures along the way, but you know, this is just a lot of lot of shit for us. It's very hard to do. We're, we're almost crippled into submission because of. Uh, well, you can't sleep anywhere. Can't sleep. You can't go to the yeah. bathroom anywhere. You can't shower. You can't. Uh, you know, we have to like do things under the slide or. I mean, just basic human needs is beyond because the people look at us like we're not human. You know, and, and most of the people that know us, they, uh, mind you, I worked construction for years. I did other things too. Yeah. And we so did. people know yeah, that I have easy. skills yeah. and, uh, and that, can, that I know how to make money. And yet there's, for some people, it cost them more to fucking betray us by than it does to help us. True? Yeah. I mean, some people are losing out on shit just because I'm eating shit. They, they're like, well, I'll eat shit too if he'll eat shit. Well, but I never had any, any kind of illusions about this shit. I think everybody reincarnates as a seagull. And you just come and fly around the beach, you know? So I'm hoping my kitty and my doggie are out there. Anyway, peace out.